Caduceus, Wikipedia article audio. The Caduceus is the staff carried by Hermes in Greek mythology and consequently by Hermes Trismegistus in Greco-Egyptian mythology. The same staff was also borne by heralds in general, for example by Iris, the messenger of Hera. It is a short staff entwined by two serpents, sometimes surmounted by wings. In Roman iconography, it was often depicted being carried in the left hand of Mercury, the messenger of the gods, guide of the dead and protector of merchants, shepherds, gamblers, liars, and thieves. Some accounts suggest that the oldest known imagery of the Caduceus have their roots in a Mesopotamian origin with the Sumerian god Ningish Zida whose symbol, a staff with two snakes intertwined around it, dates back to 4000 BC to 3000 BC. Origin and Comparative Mythology Ancient Near East As a symbolic object, it represents Hermes, and by extension trades, occupations, or undertakings associated with the god. In later antiquity, the caduceus provided the basis for the astrological symbol representing the planet Mercury. Thus, through its use in astrology, alchemy, and astronomy it has come to denote the planet and elemental metal of the same name. It is said the wand would wake the sleeping and send the awake to sleep. If applied to the dying, their death was gentle, if applied to the dead, they returned to life. By extension of its association with Mercury and Hermes, the caduceus is also a recognized symbol of commerce and negotiation, two realms in which balanced exchange and reciprocity are recognized as ideals. This association is ancient, and consistent from the classical period to modern times. The caduceus is also used as a symbol representing printing, again by extension of the attributes of Mercury. The caduceus is often incorrectly used as a symbol of healthcare organizations and medical practice, particularly in North America, due to confusion with the traditional medical symbol, the rod of Asclepius, which has only one snake and is never depicted with wings. It is thought that this symbol's long-lasting association with the medical profession stems from early use of twigs to draw out long-bodied intermuscular parasitic worms by wrapping them slowly around the twigs so as not to break them or allow them to escape back into the body, a successful treatment still in use today, see Dracunculiasis. The term Kirukian denoted any herald's staff not necessarily associated with Hermes in particular. India In his study of the cult of Hermes, Louis Richard Farnell assumed that the two snakes had simply developed out of ornaments of the shepherd's crook used by heralds as their staff. This view has been rejected by later authors pointing to parallel iconography in the ancient Near East. It has been argued that the staff or wand entwined by two snakes was itself representing a god in the pre-anthropomorphic era. Like the Herm or Priapus, it would thus be a predecessor of the anthropomorphic Hermes of the classical era. William Hayes Ward discovered that symbols similar to the classical caduceus sometimes appeared on Mesopotamian cylinder seals. He suggested the symbol originated sometime between 3000 and 4000 BC, and that it might have been the source of the Greek caduceus. A.L. Frothingham incorporated Dr. Ward's research into his own work, published in 1916, in which he suggested that the prototype of Hermes was an oriental deity of Babylonian extraction represented in his earliest form as a snake god. From this perspective, the caduceus was originally representative of Hermes himself, in his early form as the underworld god Ningish Zida, messenger of the Earth Mother. 
The caduceus is mentioned in passing by Walter Burkert as really the image of copulating snakes taken over from ancient Near Eastern tradition. Classical Antiquity In Egyptian iconography, the Djed pillar is depicted as containing a snake in a frieze of the Dendera temple complex. The caduceus also appears as a symbol of the punch-marked coins of the Maurya Empire in India, in the 3rd or 2nd century BC. Numismatic research suggests that this symbol was the symbol of the Buddhist king Ashoka, his personal madra. This symbol was not used on the pre-Mauryan punch-marked coins, but only on coins of the Maurya period, together with the three-arched hill symbol, the peacock on the hill, the triskelis, and the taxila mark. The Homeric hymn to Hermes relates how Hermes offered his lyre fashioned from a tortoise shell as compensation for the cattle he stole from his half-brother Apollo. Apollo in return gave Hermes the caduceus as a gesture of friendship. The association with the serpent thus connects Hermes to Apollo, as later the serpent was associated with Asclepius, the son of Apollo. Mythology The association of Apollo with the serpent is a continuation of the older Indo-European dragon slayer motif. Wilhelm Heinrich Roscher pointed out that the serpent as an attribute of both Hermes and Asclepius is a variant of the prehistoric semithonic serpent hero known at Delphi as Python, who in classical mythology is slain by Apollo. Iconography One Greek myth of origin of the Caduceus is part of the story of Tiresias, who found two snakes copulating and killed the female with his staff. Tiresias was immediately turned into a woman, and so remained until he was able to repeat the act with the male snake seven years later. This staff later came into the possession of the god Hermes, along with its transformative powers. Modern Use Another myth suggests that Hermes saw two serpents entwined in mortal combat. Separating them with his wand he brought about peace between them, and as a result the wand with two serpents came to be seen as a sign of peace. In Rome, Livy refers to the caduceator who negotiated peace arrangements under the diplomatic protection of the caduceus he carried. Symbol of Commerce in some vase paintings ancient depictions of the Greek Kyrukian are somewhat different from the commonly seen modern representation. These representations feature the two snakes atop the staff, crossed to create a circle with the heads of the snakes resembling horns. This old graphic form, with an additional crossbar to the staff, seems to have provided the basis for the graphical sign of Mercury used in Greek astrology from late antiquity. Caduceus is encoded in Unicode at code point U plus 2624. A simplified variant of the caduceus is to be found in dictionaries, indicating a commercial term entirely in keeping with the association of Hermes with commerce. In this form the staff is often depicted with two winglets attached and the snakes are omitted. The customs service of the former German Democratic Republic employed the caduceus, bringing its implied associations with thresholds, translators, and commerce, in the service medals they issued their staff. The caduceus is also the symbol of the customs agency of Bulgaria. The emblem of the China customs is a caduceus crossing with a golden key. It is relatively common, especially in the United States, to find the caduceus, with its two snakes and wings, used as a symbol of medicine instead of the rod of Asclepius, with only a single snake. This usage was popularized largely as a result of the adoption of the caduceus as its insignia by the U.S. Army Medical Corps in 1902 at the insistence of a single officer. The rod of Asclepius is the dominant symbol for professional health care associations in the United States. 
One survey found that 62% of professional healthcare associations used the rod of Asclepius as their symbol. The same survey found that 76% of commercial healthcare organizations used the caduceus symbol. The author of the study suggests the difference exists because professional associations are more likely to have a real understanding of the two symbols whereas commercial organizations are more likely to be concerned with the visual impact a symbol will have in selling their products. Confusion with Rod of Asclepius The long-standing and abundantly attested historical associations of the caduceus with commerce are considered by many to be inappropriate in a symbol used by those engaged in the healing arts. This has occasioned significant criticism of the use of the caduceus in a medical context. Notes